Silent Night was an adult male California sea lion, and that means that if he were um, healthy and happy, he could have been 600, 650 pounds. He was smaller than that because he had been uh, shot and was suffering from the effects of the gunshot wound to the head, which we later determined mean, meant that he couldn't see at all. The Marine Mammal Center is a uh, rescue and rehabilitation center for marine mammals. We primarily treat um, pinnipeds, so seals and sea lions. Um, we also have a huge education component. Um, we have outreach programs to schools to teach them about the marine environment. Um, and we also do um, abundant research um, into the marine environment. Um, and we have several ongoing projects, both with um, our patients uh, on site and also um, with, um, with our necropsy lab. So there's a lot of work to be done here at the center. So we have a system where 14 different shifts of volunteers come in, one during the day and one during the night for every day of the week. And that same group of volunteers comes every week, week after week, year after year. I started on one of those crews on Sunday and then when a space came available on Fridays, they asked me to supervise, which means I'm the volunteer in charge of the 20 or so other volunteers that uh, take care of the animals, feed the animals, clean up after the animals, do all the day-to-day -day labor. So Silent Knight was a patient with us here for quite some time. He was actually on site for six months with us. Um, initially we thought that he might be be able to be returned to the wild. We thought he might regain sight in his left eye. Sadly, that wasn't the case. Um, the d damage was too severe um, that he actually couldn't see out of both eyes. We as volunteers started taking care of him from day to day, which meant feeding him, administering whatever medicine they asked us to give him, which for an animal with a gunshot wound would be pain relievers, um, often steroids to reduce swelling, inflammation. He had a bad abscess, which is an infection under the skin from the gunshot. Um, so we gave him all those medicines in pills or in um, injectable form and um, cleaned up after him. <laughs> A lot of the animals need medications in their food, so we have pills that we can pull and put right into the fish in our pharmacy. We also can grind up those medications to put into the formulas that we give the animals if they need to be pulverized to mix into the liquid. Um, so we started to prepare him for um, a life of captivity. So um, the veterinary staff actually started to train Silent Night um, with hand feeds um, so that he would get used to people um, and to being in a different kind of environment. So because of his blindness, they knew that they would not be able to re-release him into the wild. So they started looking for a home for him and they had a good partnership relationship with the San Francisco Zoo and so our director Tanya Peterson uh, agreed to uh, fix up our sea lion exhibit and give him a home here for the rest of his life. We had two other animals being housed with him. One was a, another blind juvenile named Henry that also went to San Francisco Zoo. And another one was a younger animal nicknamed Black Wolf that went to another facility. Because they are totally blind, we can't just leave them food or dump food in the pool um, or put food in a bucket for them to feed themselves. We have to feed them everything by hand. And we also need a way to communicate with the animals in order to manage them, to move them around or to do medical procedures and things like that. So you'll notice when the trainers come out to feed the animals that they'll be bringing out what we call a target, which is just a plastic bead on a stick. Now, if the sea lions had vision, um, they would learn to touch that and visually follow that as a means of communication, but because they can't see, we know that their primary means of communication is audio and tactile. So what we did was we put a sound on each of the target beads um, so they each have their own sound. So Silent Night has some bells and Henry, his companion, has a little container of beads, which sounds kind of like some maracas and we can call their name and shake those sounds and they know 
where to head to and then we can touch them with the target so they can tactily follow it when we're asking them to do different behaviors. Silent Night has been perfect, really easy animal to maintain. He hasn't had any setbacks. He's learned a lot more behavior since he's been here. He's put on a lot more weight. Um, so he's just healthy, happy guy.